welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue once again with my Let's Play of Elix. Uh, it's been a, a very, very long time. I just got to make sure I remember how to do things. And it does appear that I do know how to do things. Well, again, appearances can be deceiving. Alright, we're going to check our map. We are trying to get up to here. We have a teleporter right nearby, so we're going to actually utilize it. It does seem that this is the next place that we need to go. We can't get to Kallax because he is in the Ice Palace right now. And apparently we do not have a way in there. At least not yet. So we are here. We need to talk to Zardom, who is somewhere over here. <coughs> Alright. I'm trying to remember how we lock on to people. We'll figure it out as we go. Alright, buddy. Talk to me. Tell me more about your past at the Ice Palace. Tell me more about your past oh, yeah. at the Ice Palace. I already told you. I have left that past behind me. You can't deceive me. You want to take power in the Ice Palace. Yep. What makes you believe that? Your neck. The Separatist leader, Sestak, told me. So what is it that you want? Are you planning war against the hybrid? And you believe Sestak? Well, he didn't give me a reason to doubt his words. I trust him. His arguments were logical. It doesn't matter what I think. Logic tells me he's correct. His arguments were logical. And how am I supposed to wage war? One alb against Sekor? All I would gain is my own death. I have my new life here. That is what matters now. It's obvious that you are hiding something. You are more powerful than you appear. You speak of Elix withdrawal and the doubt that plagues you, but none of that fits your appearance, your confidence, or your character. Exactly. So drop the lie. We both know the truth, Zardom. Oh? You didn't stop consuming Elix when you left Zaycor. You found yourself a source somewhere, and you have kept your strength. You can still cast magic. I'm not the one pretending to be something I'm not, Commander. What are you really doing out here, Zardom? And... What is it that you want, Jax? We all must find our own path as this world changes. Interesting. So, you do want to challenge a hybrid. Uh, if you want war, then where is your army? You claim you are doing this for the Albs, but then you're prepared to kill them for your own cause. So will you admit that you have kept your powers, Elix gives you? How do you plan to attack Zaycor? What if the Alexters and Zaycor learn of your plans? Uh, okay, this one. If you want war, then where is your army? You were revered in the Ice Palace. How many Albs still follow you? None. My soldiers stayed in Zekor. Such is the power of Elix. Such is the power of the hybrid. It takes those with will to see the truth. But I'm not without power. I do have a force that is loyal to me. I have the strength to return to Zekor, to strike at the hybrid. Really? If it isn't in Zaycor, then where are these soldiers? I have told you my aims. I have told you that I have the resources to achieve them. Fair enough. For now, I will concentrate on building resources here in the lands of the free people. If you will play your part in the struggle that is to come, then I will tell you this. There is a camp in the mountains between Idan, Abessa, and Tavar. The people there are independent. And fight for their own cause. Yeah, I know. I run the place. They are a force waiting for a leader. You should seek them out. Perhaps there you can find what I have. A base of operations. Perhaps then you will see what I mean more clearly. Yeah, I already, I already did all that. Alright, well you kill them. So what's that about? You claim you are doing this for the Alps, but then you're prepared to kill them for your own cause? It is a sacrifice that is painful to all. But the hybrid has blinded many of our brothers. There is no way to free all Albs. But with the blood of those who serve the hybrid, those lives will save others. But you will need to decide who you will back soon. The hybrid has sent a force of combat mechs and soldiers to advance inland into northern Abessa. Ooh, that's going to be rough. This force must be stopped. Otherwise, they will tip the balance of power in Abessa in favor of the hybrid. Okay, invasion of Abessa. All right, good to know. So, 
will you admit that you have kept the powers Elix gives you? If you think I can acquire enough Elix to maintain my own strength, you are mistaken. Yes, I continue to consume Elix, pure Elix, but I have only enough to reduce the impact of withdrawal. If you are looking for magic outside Zaykor, then you will have to look to the Berserkers of Edan. Is Berserker magic as strong as the Alps magic? Some of them are very effective. Their mana has allowed the magic of Edan to evolve a lot of power. I heard of a mage in the domed city with the power to fight an Alexator. Really? And as a Berserker living beyond the borders of Edan, she might have a more open ear than those living under Berserker law every day. Okay, the Chosen. So you do want to challenge the hybrid? Challenge? You say that as if it's unthinkable for an Alb. Uh-oh. Flashback time! Shortly before execution... What's that? It's a bubble. You called for me? The time is coming. We are close to achieving our evolution. Oh yeah? But our enemy is close to completing his work as well. Find Thorold. Discover his secrets. I must know what he intends before he dies. Thorold. Why you does that have lived your life in thrall to that machine? Name not sound familiar. But the Albs existed before the hybrid took control. When the Albs searched for an identity, it was the hybrid that gave it to them. He gave us all worth through war. Don't pretend you want peace, Zardom. That I won't believe. The hybrid's last orders to you were to kill Thorold the Pilgrim, oh, okay. leader of the Berserkers, yes? But did he tell you why he ordered that? And who should rule the Alps? You? It seems many in Zekar are beginning to question the hybrid's rule. But none have given me answers. None have said what the hybrid's plan is, or how they think they can better it. What is it we've fought for, Zardom? Don't you at least want to know that? While first Alexator Tarek follows blindly, I want answers. But I tell you, the hybrid won't give them to you. He only wants power for himself, and it will be the ruin of our people. Huh, ruin. Why not victory? This is just speculation of an outcast, of a frustrated old man. You're saying a lot, Zardom. Where is your proof? Ruin. Ruin? Why not victory? You know the directive requires all Elix must be delivered to the hybrid. He says he must reach the peak of evolution perfection to secure the future of our people. But what will be left of our world at the end of this war for Elix? All Elix means exactly that, all the Elix on Magellan. But do you think that the hybrid will ever be satisfied? What will happen when it has consumed all the Elix on Magellan? What then, Jax? So you think the hybrid is lying? That it has a different goal for the directive? I don't question his goal. I question our place in it. It's fair. Do you believe that when the hybrid evolves, the Albs will serve at his side? After it has kept the truth and power for so long that its drive for Elix will just stop? No, Jax. After we have exploited the lands of the free people, the hybrid will only have one source of Elix left. Us. Good the point. The first Alexator Tarek is too blinded by the hybrid's promises to see that. But I know. I know that once he is done with the rest of this world, the hybrid will extract the remaining Elix from us. He will feed his evolution. Well, that's creepy. Uh, okay, how do you plan to attack a Zekor? Uh, what if the Alexa... Alright. How do you plan to attack Zekor? The only thing that would drive the hybrid soldiers from the Ice Palace is to stop the flow of Elix. The converter in northern Abessa is strategically important. If we could shut it down, that would show the Albs the limits of the hybrid's power. It would give us a chance to persuade others of our cause. Okay. Are you allied with the free people? 
Are you allied with the free people? Our cause in defeating the hybrid matches theirs. But I will do nothing to endanger the future of the Albs. Each of the factions has their own motives which could prove dangerous to our people. I heard that the Duke of Tavar is constructing a bomb that is so destructive it could destroy a city. What we don't know is his target, or how an outlaw has put together the technology capable of this. Yeah, I already kind of dealt with that. What if the Alexiters and Zekor learn of your plans? Sooner or later, the Alexators track down every Alb outcast. The question is whether or not we can survive until we are strong enough to be able to defend ourselves. Do you think you have the strength to fight an Alexator? No, not at present. And you should know that an Alexator has been seen near the domed city. Oh yeah? I think he has picked up your tracks. How do you know that? You've hardly been discreet. True. But he only has suspicions that you survived. He has no proof for now. I would suggest you take care of him before he learns you really are alive. If the Alexators were to discover that you live, then they would concentrate their powers against you. Now you know my thoughts. And it is time for you to tell me your plans. What is it that you want? Total I domination. Want the person who got me into this situation. I want Kallax. For what? Revenge? Your brother doesn't want anything to do with you. He sees you as a traitor. He will kill you the first chance he gets. Oh, he won't get that chance. I won't rest until he's lying dead before me. When fate brings us together, we will see. He's my brother. We fought side by side our whole lives. He has to listen to me. He won't get the chance. He won't get the chance. And how will you get close enough to speak to him? He is protected by a whole unit of soldiers in combat mechs. I will find a way. Well... Maybe I can help you, Jax. Yeah? Support me in my cause, and I will make sure that you reach Kallax. You think you can do that? Yes. And you know I am your best option. I recommend that you take my offer. Well, you will have my support, I, I guess. You will have my support, but you will have to deliver Kallax. Then help me achieve the things I need to turn the balance of power back in our favor. Help me shut down those converters and make the preparations you need to. Do that, and I will tell you how you can lure Kallax to you. For my part, I will order my forces to infiltrate Zekor. I want a better idea of what is happening in the Ice Palace and the readiness of its defense systems. I will see you back here once you have completed your tasks. Okay. Well, I have taken command of Origin. That's our uh, base of operations. I have taken command of Origin. Then you can see the value of my advice. That place makes an excellent base for you, doesn't it? Yep. The free people are strong when they are well led. And now you have won that group over, perhaps others will follow. Good. But I get the feeling you have more to tell me. Yep. Uh, the bomb was a fighting machine, actually. The Duke of Tavar's bomb was really a fighting machine. He developed it with a cleric prisoner the aim of attacking the Horde in Ignadon. Developed. Does that mean the danger is now gone? Yes. Good. Then we have one less threat to worry about. Good. Was there anything else to report? Yep. The converter in Northern Abessa has been deactivated. Well, that was faster than I expected. No doubt the Ice Palace will be considering their response. You have made progress. But there are still things to be done. Yeah, I know. I will be here waiting for you once you have completed the tasks. Okay, so that was actually super useful. That was something that we had kind of missed out on for quite a while. There was quite a bit there, and we just didn't do any of it. Okay, so let's go back to our map. Uh, I guess that's just shining through the map. It's fine. The Chosen. I don't know where you're at, but we're going to go find you. You are down over here. Is she in the Dome City? Guess so. Well, let's go talk to her. Go back into that wretched Dome City. Also, we have the, the Alexander that we probably should go and attempt to fight. I don't know that it's going to work for us. I don't know that we're strong enough to deal with an Alexander. 
But I'm going to do a quick save. I'm going to actually open our map. We're going to switch our objective for now. We need to deal with the Elixir on the hunt. He's supposed to be around the Dome City anyway, so we're not too far off of where... Alright, he's a little bit further north. Oh yeah, that's fine. We'll go, we'll go hunt him down. And that's how we'll spend this episode. I told you guys way back when that I did plan to finish Elix. I know I've gotten way, 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 way off track. Like, I realize that. Like, I get it. But I'm back now, so hopefully this is going to work out. Don't we auto-lock onto things? E is our big attack. Okay, yeah. It's been a while, folks. It's been quite a while. Okay, well, he just sort of died. It's, it's fine. Dead critter. Oh. Okay. Excuse me for a second, folks. Apparently that just... My cursor went off the screen. I, I don't remember that being a thing that happened before. Alright, so you guys are going to have to give me a second here. Is there not a... Huh. Well, that's... That's really... I don't... Hmm. That's not been a problem before. Is there a thing that says lock uh, mouse to screen? That never happened to me before. I don't know what to, to do about that. Well, I mean, I guess... Like, that's going to be really bad if we're... Oh, man. It, maybe it did happen before and I just don't remember it. Anyway... It's going to be a real problem if if we're fighting and all of a sudden I I click off of this man that's that's really bad. Well, I'll look into a solution to that before our next episode, but I think we'll be okay. Oh gosh, we will be okay before then. I just not loot you when I'm swimming. Nope, can't loot stuff while they're in the water. Okay, good to know, I guess. Nice little little boat here. All right, it's definitely not a nice little boat, but it is a boat. Go ahead and do a quick save. Man, that, that, that worries me a lot. So my FPS are super low. Well, I suppose it's the nature of the game. I'm pretty sure I set it back up to where it's supposed to be. But if not, well, then we have a couple of uh, episodes of 30 FPS stuff getting recorded today. Surprise! Hopefully that's not the case, but it could be. Because it's sitting around 29 to 25 FPS. What was that? I'll take a small healing plant. Oh, that looks dangerous-esque. Hey, old Scratch, or whatever your name is, Gex. Yep, I'm still a terrible shot. Was it F to switch? Yeah, there it is. And that's not even our, our really good weapon, is it? No, that is our good weapon. Okay, this is our not so good weapon. That's weird that it changed like color. Is there something over there or is that just a plant? Well, either way, we don't necessarily have to go over that way. I'm sure we've already cleared that out a few times over. Now, from what I recall him saying, the guy has like a contingent of like battle mechs and all sorts of nasty stuff. Oh. Hey, I haven't been killed by a troll in a while, or whatever this thing is. I think we, uh, we stand a chance of dying here? Let's go with our two-handed sword then. 
What's up, big man? How do we... How do you roll? I don't remember. I don't remember how to roll. That's probably not great. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember now. Oop, oops, I fell in a hole. That's not part of the plan. Shake, rattle, and hole. Well, you know what? That's fine. So if you enjoyed that a little bit, we're gonna go here. How did that conceivably ever hit me, or even come close? Alright. Uh, you having fun? You enjoying that, buddy? He was able to hit me there either. I kind of jumped over his fist, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna roll with it. It's probably fine. All right, buddy, what do you got for me? What's going on, buddy? That looks like it's angry times. What's going on, big guy? Come on, chief. What you doing? Oh gosh, oh gosh, what's happened? Oh no! See? See? That's exactly what I was worried about. Oh, come on. That was my mouse going off the screen. Ah, oh, of course. Of course it did. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, folks. I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, the sound cut out. Why did the sound cut out? Well, there's apparently a reason for that. And that reason is... The world hates me. Also, I just realized I have a game running in the background. Super fun times. Could I, could I have... There we go. Nope, it still goes off the screen. Oh, that's just the worst. did not work at all. Uh, 
Uh. We're fine. It's all good. Let's keep circling the same direction. We're moving the mouse in the direction that we're circling, and we'll be fine. He did. Honestly, that was really, really easy. I don't know why I ever had struggles with these things. I mean, like, I know how and why I had a struggle just a minute ago, but that that's not, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. If the mouse flies off the edge of the screen, that's a bad sign. Chances are I'll have to do something like take it out of full screen mode and put it back into full screen mode, and then we'll probably be okay. But, you know what, I think I'm going to break it off right here. We will continue up this path and deal with the Alexander in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and again, I do apologize for the couple of uh, inconsistencies there, and here's hoping that I can solve my issues moving forward. Either way, folks, Elix is back. We will finish it, hopefully relatively soon. I don't think we're that much, well, like there's that much left for us to do, or that far away from the end, so... Good stuff all around. Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>